So when there's a lot of people coming up on YouTube and all that saying, I bought my house at 22, I bought my house at 20. Yeah, it's a lot easier to do that when you have no dependents and you're living with your parents. But in real life, good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about how I bought my house. I'm also making roasted peppers because I'm so hungry. I'm on a diet. I need to lose weight. Like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I just throw this shit over. I feel like my face is going on. So that's the thing. And that's like the worst. That's the worst thing I hate. But anyway, let's get into the video. If you want to know how I bought my house at the age of 30, like I said in the title, so that is old in YouTube world, but pretty regular in normal world. So stay tuned. Right, so I saved up a lot of money for my house i saved up a lot a lot of money i saved up about 30 grand and um i was 29 when i bought my when i bought my house so basically i was 29 when i was going through the process and i turned 30 within the the time frame um and i just i was i literally was living I was living in the house, house association flat, which is like cancel flat, which I don't know what is in other countries, but it's like a cancel flat. I had two kids, so I had two dependents on me, and yeah, I was a full, I'm a full time working mum. So when you have those kind of obstacles, I say obstacles, kids are not obstacles, but when you have those kind of things in the way it makes it a lot a lot harder so when there's a lot of people coming up on youtube and all that saying i bought my house at 22 i bought my house at 20 yeah it's a lot easier to do that when you have no dependents and you're living with your parents but in real life if you do have children and you're not living with your parents it's really really hard to get on the property ladder wherever you are i think i don't think that's just in the uk so basically i knew i needed to work to get the deposit to get all the documents needed i knew i needed to work so i went to i started full-time work again i, I was on part-time um i started full-time work no i think i just got off maternity i'm not sure anyway i started full-time work again i'm saving 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 my ass off and i'm thinking okay all i need to do is work three months get them deep get the documents that i need because i already had some savings so i had i needed to work like three months just to round out to what i wanted it to be so all i needed to do was like save up for like three months um get the documents i needed because in the uk you need like three well three months of what i thought um working pay slips you need you need a lot of documents anyway so i saved up i got the documents and I thought, wow, that's it, you know, let me call up the bank and get my mortgage and get my house. I was sadly mistaken. No, it's not that easy. So I had the deposit now. I've, and I'll tell you, actually, this is one thing which I've noticed that people do not mention when they're saying about, when they're talking about buying their housing process. The one thing you need, yeah, deposit is cool and everything, but the golden nugget, you need a freaking good mortgage advisor that is that is everything because without your mortgage advisor or mortgage broker you ain't getting crap so i went through three and i kind of got scammed with one because and this is a lesson to learn because you're not meant to pay your mortgage advisor up front i didn't know um so i've paid one of them up front it sounds like i went through over i paid one of them up front to get a mortgage in principle which is what you need um you don't need a mortgage in principle to start looking for homes but i thought it, it would work in my favor if i had a mortgage in principle so i could show the estate agent and say hey i'm a good candidate but later on i found out it's not even a necessity but anyway um so i needed to get a mortgage in principle i've gone through three now and the one the one that kind of scammed me um asked me to pay for that mortgage in principle up front and when i went to estate agents they were like you weren't meant to pay for that so this is something i didn't know um so aside from that when i found that out anyway after what i didn't even use him because um another part another big 
point of getting getting a house and getting a mortgage it's not at it you know people think you know the deposit is is hard to get and it is but you know one of the most important things about buying a house is one getting a good mortgage broker and another thing is which people never don't prepare for is you you may not get what you think you're going to get so you may work all the hours under the sun and get them you can get a 50 grand deposit a 100 grand deposit but if your paperwork and your pay and your ingoings and your outgoings don't show don't, don't are not uniform to what you've saved you're not getting what you think you're getting so i had saved up about 30 grand and i thought okay i've saved up 30 grand i earn so and so in this country they times your money by four five if you're lucky but four um i paid uh, i sorry I've, I've lost track there so i um, went to the mortgage broker thinking i'm getting a certain amount I've already been looking at houses at this certain tax price bracket. I need to find out. I've gone to the... Look. 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 Thank you. Bye. Sorry, Bye. let it go. Bye. I will need to find out that I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not entire, I'm not going to get what I thought I was going to get. So that particular everything on its head so I, the house i was looking for there was no point because i can't afford them so the guy who scammed me got that was the one originally i went for so i went oh, the first guy he was like, i need this i need that paperwork and i was giving it to him but in this country our financial year is in april so to get like a refresher of new documents to say yes this is what i actually have you need to wait till april the first guy was pissing me off and i'm not wait i wasn't waiting until april because i got my job in january so already that was like longer than three months i wanted to wait to to buy a house so i asked my mom is there anybody else you know okay she asked my auntie i got another guy this other guy was the one who asked me for money but he actually got me a mortgage in principle and i was over the moon because i was like i'm not even i didn't even think i was getting a mortgage so actually to, to actually then get a mortgage in principle, I was like yes so I've got a mortgage in principle now. Cool. Now I can go and actually go and view houses, not just look at them on the internet. I've gone to view houses now. Um, all the estate agents are telling me, literally laughing me out of the office, telling me, you are not going to get a house on what you are getting borrowed. You are not going to get a house on what you're getting borrowed. Look for a flat. Look for a flat. Look for a flat. And I was so determined to get a house because I have two kids. I'm already coming from like a council flat. Why am I going to go and borrow so much money, get like 35 year mortgage to live in a flat? It didn't make no sense to me. So I was still going. I was still going. I was still looking. People were still telling me, you know, look for a, a flat. You're never going to get a house. And then um, when I was looking online one day, I saw a house that was in my price range. Um, but in I think in everything like sales, because obviously selling a house, it's basically sales. They put attractive prices. So I was there now looking online. I saw a house. It was where I wanted to live. It was the price range. It was like three bedroom. It was beautiful. And I was like, yes, this is my dream house. This is blah, blah, blah. So I've called them up now. Oh, pardon me. I've called them up now. The guy's like, mm, no, that's not really the price. And it's like an introductory price. And obviously the seller wants more, da, 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 whatever. So basically my bubble got burst, but he was a blessing in the journey because I'm just talking, I haven't even washed my papers. He was a blessing in the journey because then he hooked me up with my angel who was, uh, who is my mortgage broker. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we just vibe, maybe because we're mums, like we just vibe, do you know what I mean? Like she was like, okay, how much is this guy saying he can give you? And I told her and she's like, well, I can get you well more than that. But I was very, what's the word? I don't know the word. I was very um, apprehensive. I think that's the word. You know, when I, because I was like, I didn't know whether I was going to get a mortgage or not. When this guy got me a mortgage, yes, it was a lot lower than I thought. But I was like, oh, I, 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 because I never, I didn't think I was going to get one. I was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to rock the boat here. Let me just take what he's giving me and try and find a house. But this lady's like, I can get you a bigger mortgage, whatever. So I've then given her all my details and then seen how much can she get me. She literally got me, no, whatever, like 17 grand more. 17 grand more than this guy got me. 
I was like, you are a heaven sent. So I um I was like, yeah, I started looking for houses. Like now I could really look for houses, not just flats. Now I could really look for houses. So I'm there looking for houses. Please tell me why there's no houses anymore. Like, you know, like there's nothing that I like. There's like, there's no houses in my in what in, in in what I'm looking for. So I'm like, what? Where's all the freaking houses gone? Like, when you're looking for something, you you know you don't find it. When you're not looking for something, it's everywhere. You know that thing. So nothing was coming up. Nothing that I liked. Bearing in mind when I didn't have the money, I saw everything that I liked. So I've um. Then my mum's come down and we're still in a house. That's where I like and everything. Um, but it's a little bit too good to be true. And it's, they've got an opening day. Now, I have had previous experience with an opening day. Don't even bother because you're not getting it. An opening day is where, you know, we'll open the property to the public, people who are interested. They'll come, they'll view it. And whoever puts the highest bid in gets the house. I have more money, but I don't have that, like, much more money to play with. But I still thought, okay, I'll go. I'm pushing me. Let's go. Went to this place now. And um, it's very, it was very intimidating because I've walked in with so many people here. And I can tell most of them are property investors. And where I live, it's mostly property investors that get this kind of property to rent it out. It's not really live it. Like, people don't really live. Like, you wouldn't really buy it and live it in here. So, um... So I'm already discouraged. And to be honest, I didn't really like the house in general. I didn't really like it. And mum was like, it's nice. Look, you can do this. You can do that. You know mum's cool. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Yeah, it's nice. And I was very discouraged. But mum was like, putting an offer. Literally, the, the minute we left, she's like, putting an offer. And I'm like, no, I'm not putting in enough offer. Because, like, people don't do that. Like, I thought that, you know, it was, it was on a Saturday that we had the viewing. So I was like, to the lady when I left. I was like, all right, Monday, I'll call you and give you an offer. So when we've left, mum's like, put an offer right now. So I've called them. I put in an offer. I put in my max offer. Um, so I've put in my max offer now. And the lady's like, send me your details. So like, when you put in an offer, I didn't know this is what happens. But when you put in an offer, you have to send them your bank details and your mortgage in principle to say you've got the deposit and this is what they're willing to borrow me. So I've screenshot this to her and I've sent it to her. Now, the offer I put in was more than I could afford. But mum's like, just put that offer in, right? I've put the offer in. I've sent it to her. She's looked, blah, blah, blah. It's Monday now. Um, so I'm so anxious. I'm at work and I have to wait till my break time. So I'm, it's break time. I've called. I'm like, hey, what's the seller said? Like, are they taking my offer? This is another point of buying a house that people don't tell you about. I thought it was... You see a house, you like a house. You say, I'm going to buy it for this amount, and that's it. The, off, the seller says, yes. The, no, it's a war because you're looking at that house and 10 other people are looking at that house too, and they also want that house. So it's not as simple as you think, which is what's never mentioned. So I've put in the offer now. I've called on Monday and I'm like, um, does, you know, is, this, is the seller going to take my offer? The lady's like, you're in the top three. Okay, I'm in the top three. Cool. What does that mean? I have to bid more money. I've maxed myself out on that first offer. I, even the first offer was a leap of faith. But putting more money. So I've called my mum. I'm like, I need to put in up more money. My mum's like, right. Put in three more grand. I've done it. I've offered three more grand. I don't have three more grand, but I've offered it. Of course, I said, all right, I'll do three more grand. Right. I have to go back to work. Went back to work. Come back now. The... um. Finished work now. I've called the lady. Did the guy accept the offer? Oh, you're in the top two. Top two. Right. I now, I'm a, you know, I, I have no money. I'm losing. And I'm thinking, okay, I've called my mum. She's like, right, put in three more grand and that is max. So I've said to her, right, okay, I'm going to put in three more grand. That's my max. Don't come back to me. Don't come back to me. Don't come back to me and tell me put more in, blah, blah, blah. She's gone away. She's come back. She's like, right. If you could just push a little, and I'm thinking, what the fuck? So I call my mum's like, nah, it's whatever's for you will not pass you by. This is not yours. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay. I've left it. I'm not home. I'm driving home, right? Then I've left it. And something in me is like, 
it's taking you 10 years to get this mortgage not 10 years but it's taking you a long time to get this mortgage you've looked at houses over houses over houses blah, blah blah stuff was going on in my actual where i live is what i need to get out there i've got two kids i live in a two bedroom i have one i've got a boy i've got a girl it's too much i thought okay right eff it i'm taking a leap of faith i called her up and i said right i offered one more grand she went one more grand i said yeah literally i put down the phone a few seconds later she was called me she's like Temi, I'd like to tell you, you're the proud owner of sales. I was like, oh my God, I was so happy. I was so, 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 so happy. So, um, I've obviously gone home. I've got home now. My mum's staying with me. My daughter's dad is with, with me at the time. And um, I've gone upstairs now and I've pretended and I've said, oh, you know, I just, I just left it. I didn't, I didn't bother um i didn't put up with it she said once it's one and it's way too much i can't do it anymore and mum's like oh it's only a grand more you could have done it and then i've gone i'm joking i did it and then both of them are like how are you gonna afford it where are you gonna get the money from da, 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 da. like literally i didn't have enough to even push it to what i offered in the first place then i've then pushed it even more 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 i'm out of my depth at this point but I took a leap of faith and obviously I could afford it because I'm in the house now. So that's my little story time for how I got my house. If you do want to know a little bit more about the process, how I got the house, um, other little journeys about buying a house, comment below, like, subscribe because I only have like 22 subscribers and I would like to have a little bit more. Um, yeah, but the one thing I do want to say is that it's very easy for people to say, I bought a house at this age, I bought a house at that age, when you have no dependent, when you're living with your mum or your dad, or you don't have that many financial bills. It's, it's, it's a lot easier. And I'm not like bashing anyone, but I just feel like for people that live in this real world, <laughs> And we've made mistakes in lives and we've and life and we've had to come back and forth and you still want to follow your dreams. I've always dreamed to buy a house, I've always dreamed to be a homeowner. It's I feel like we need more content on YouTube telling people the real real about buying a house. So that's my choice. A lot more fumbles. It took me and another thing I didn't know is that the, the how, buying a house process is like a four to six month process. Too much. There's so much that goes into buying a house in UK. So, so much but please comment please like please subscribe and yeah i will see you guys later